Welcome to State of Affairs. I'm Steve Adubato coming to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio here in beautiful Newark, New Jersey. We're pleased to welcome once again uh, State Senator Loretta Weinberg, a Democrat from the Bergen County area. She is the Senate Majority Leader. Good to see you, Senator. Thank you, Steve. It's good to be here. Let's talk about a range of issues, but the first one I want to talk about is one that uh, does not get a lot of attention, but impacts so many people, aphasia. Tell folks what it is, tell folks why it matters to you, and finally, what you're trying to do on the state level to deal with it. Well, aphasia uh, is a disability that usually <coughs> comes from a stroke, a traumatic uh, brain injury, an accident of some kind, and it results in the inability to speak, to say what it is you want to say. There's a slogan from the aphasia group, it affects speech, not intellect. Yeah, the Adler Aphasia Center that you know very exactly. well. Exactly. There, there is a group that started in Bergen County called the Adler Aphasia Center, started by two absolutely tremendous, wonderful citizens of our county and of our state, Mike and Elaine Adler. And I first became involved with it the way many people do. First of all, years ago, my mother had aphasia from a stroke, so I learned a lot about it. And she would know what she wanted to say mm. would become so frustrating because the words wouldn't come out or different words would come out. And then years later, my sister, who was a radio broadcaster. Out on the West Coast. Out on the West Coast, a communicator, uh, had a stroke and aphasia was the result. And my sister came east for a couple of years after that to live near me. And uh, I found the aphasia center, the first and then only group that provided not only um, uh, resources for the aphasia victim or aphasia patient, but uh, resources for families, for caregivers, That's support right. groups. And uh, it started because Mike Himself. Mike Adler was dealing with aphasia directly. We've lost Mike, um, but he was an incredible leader. And Elaine Adler continues the fight with her that team up true. there. That is true. She is a remarkable woman who is carrying on her husband's legacy. When Mike had his stroke, they looked for a support group, couldn't find it. Yeah, they created so what one. did they do? They so, created so, it. So go back to the Mike Adler aphasia task force, right, being established in the Department of Health. Okay, that's one piece of this. What needs to be done on the state level to help those who are dealing with aphasia and their family members? Well, with the establishment of the Mike Adler Aphasia Task Force, we hope, first of all, to call more attention to this. You know, hundreds of thousands of people nationwide suffer from this. Sometimes they don't even know the name of their disability. They never heard the term aphasia. So we want to bring recognition and then education and research. And that's what we're hoping that the aphasia task force will do. There's a lot of research being done mm. in this area, neurological research, a, a lot of support groups right. with the use of computers, um, a lot of help for uh, aphasia patients. So we're hoping that by bringing a spotlight and education to this issue, more people will recognize it. Let's shift gears. <clears throat> you know transportation better than most. <laughs> well, you've, you've I know gone, a little bit about a bridge. <laughs> well, you know about that, but you also know about uh, going to board meetings at yes. the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, mm -hmm. uh, an entity created in 1921 through a pact, a compact between New York and New Jersey. Governors of both states have a lot of influence. There'll be a new governor in New Jersey in 2018. It'll be the same governor in New York. What are the top two things that need to be done at the Port Authority moving forward that would actually help the citizens of the state of New Jersey? Well, the top, of course, the Gateway Tunnel and finding the funding to replace the 100-year-old tunnels under the Hudson River that it were, are not only more than 100 years old but were compromised and sandy. This is the link in the Northeast that really leads to um, the shipment of goods throughout the entire United States. So we need to get the federal, state, whatever money. Is it, are the involved. feds going to put the Trump administration going to put up well, money? Well, right now, 
in the budget, there is $900 million to start the, um, uh, the, the redesign and rebuilding of what they call the Portal Bridge, which That's is right. the first stage of it's that. It's in the budget as we speak now. By the yes. way, we're taping at the end of September. I just want to clarify that. So go ahead. Yes, it's in the budget as we speak now. Hopefully it will stay in the budget and hopefully the money will be there. What would the economic impact be to this region, particularly it, to New Jersey? You know what? I, I don't even think you can add that up. It would be tremendous. If those tunnels fail, <coughs> which they're going to, if they're not taken out of use and fixed, sometime over the next 20 years, they are going to fail. And that is the major thoroughfare in the Northeast to, to be able to get under the Hudson River. And uh, as I explain to people very often, you know, if you need something in Nebraska, very often it comes from a port in Newark or Elizabeth needs to get shipped there. Right. So the Midwest is dependent upon our economy here too. And this is, it is of such import that it's almost hard to put into words. A couple minutes left. New governor, new legislature <clears throat> in 2018. Mm -hmm. Top three issues are? Property taxes, <coughs> the economy, school funding. Yeah, so school funding. Um, should we fully fund the state formula for state funding to public schools? Could we, A, should we? Where the heck's the money coming from? Well, we started that this year. Uh, in this year's budget of fully funding the formula that has not been funded over the last seven years, with the, the formula that the Supreme Court declared appropriate. And it really is about the money following the child, and we can't afford not to, because beside our geographic location and our transportation infrastructure, the most important aspect of New Jersey's economy is our educated workforce. But at the same time, Senator, for certain school districts, like say, I'll give you two, Hoboken, mm -hmm. Jersey City, they've gotten what some argue is more state money than they should be getting mm -hmm. because there's so much economic development there. There's a boon going on there. And that certain suburban communities are getting the shaft and not getting enough state funding for public education, you say? We started to correct that in this year's formula. You're absolutely, well, you're not saying it, quoting other yeah. people, but they are absolutely right. That's not right. a crazy idea to say that, yeah, just because they're urban communities. Those formulas were put in before those big economic boons and before those tax breaks That's right. to many of the people who built uh, and helped bring up both those communities. So this formula starts to correct that, and I think that's an important step, and it does it gradually with some pots of money there so no one school district is hit too hard. State Senator Loretta Weinberg, <clears throat> she's the Senate Majority Leader. Been in the uh, legislature for a couple years? Uh, just a couple. You can add a few zeros on to the, a couple. You're 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. And you remain optimistic about our future in spite of the significant you know what? challenges we face. I don't think you can be in politics without being an optimist. You have to really believe that things can get better or why why be here? Thank you for your service, Senator. And thank you for always joining us on public television. Thank you. This is State of Affairs. I'm Steve Adubato, and we will be right back.